Hi, today I'm going to do a review of the iTouch 4th generation. The hardware is absolutely stunning. The way the designers brought this to the next level is amazing. Uh, it's thin, it just it feels right in your hand. Um, there's a couple of things I'm not thrilled about. Why they did that silver back, I, I don't know. It scratches, I was very careful with it. I didn't get a case right away. I just kept it in my pocket a couple of days and it was scratched. Uh, they just need to lose that and do it for the next model. There's no reason to have some kind of fake chrome or metal back on this device. If they really want to get fancy, maybe next time around they can give us a carbon fiber case. Now that would be cool. There really, really is an app for everything. I just got signed up with Netflix, and that's one of my favorite apps to use on the iTouch. You can go onto Netflix at your house, do the instant queue, stream it to your computer through the Apple TV, through your Xbox or the Wii, and you, you pause the movie, and then if you go back to your iTouch, you can pick it up where you left off on Netflix. Another thing that I use is the police scanner. There's a bunch out there. I, I don't know which one I got, um, but the police scanner is fascinating. I've become addicted to it. Something else I like is, you know, of course, the MP3 player. It's a camera. It's a camcorder. You can keep notes. You have a calendar. You can surf the web. It's not the greatest device for surfing the web because, face it, the screen is small. There's no getting around that. It's like a cell phone. Maybe a little bigger, but, well, not, you know, the droids. But it's it's small. So if you're going to go on CNN or Yahoo or AOL, it, it's not the best, uh, you know, device for this. You're probably better off sticking to an iPad, which is a lot more money, or your computer. If you need to just look up a movie, search a little bit on Google, the device is perfect. Speaking of the screen size, it has an ebook reader. I downloaded a book. I've read a couple of pages. It's not the easiest to do, but you can get away with it. Maybe if you're a little younger and have really sharp eyes, it won't bother you. I need glasses, so for me, it's a little challenging. Uh, if you're a pilot, there are a ton of apps out there for flying, for studying, for your prep. There's a particularly good one that lets you land the space shuttle. I happen to be a glider pilot, and the input controls, uh, it's very realistic. It's just like you're flying a glider. What's really neat is you use the iTouch itself because of the gyroscope to control the shuttle. And it's very intuitive. It's, it feels like you're just flying just by thinking. Your body just moves, uh, or your hands, I should say, just move the device, and, and you fly. It's, it's fascinating. And I know there's a bunch of other simulators which I'm going to get into. I happen to be a backgammon player. I downloaded a great backgammon app. I know there's great chess apps out there. Uh, I saw a video online of a group called Atomic Tom, and I was able to find out which apps they used. They played a song using only their eye touches. I downloaded the piano, the guitar, I downloaded a microphone, and a drum. Um, simply amazing. For the price point, I think the best value was the 32 gig. I could see that I would fill the 8 gig up fairly quickly, or at least be worried that I'm running out of space. For the extra 60 bucks, I went ahead and splurged and got myself the 32 gig. I was able to pick it up for 288 on Amazon, and that seems to be, you know, Costco has it at that price. You could save a little getting it that way. If you like to patronize the Apple stores, you'll spend another $11. You can get it engraved. That might be the way you want to go. A couple of things I don't like are I don't understand why Jobs doesn't let us use it as a USB flash drive without jailbreaking it. I don't want to avoid the warranty. I'm not that tech savvy. I don't know how to jailbreak. I don't want to do the research. So I just use the device for how it was designed. And there's no reason that we can't just use it as a USB flash drive. We should be able to drag and drop any folder or any item we want and just load it onto the device without having to be a rocket scientist. Uh, I know there's a way to do it on iTunes, but when I started reading about it, my eyes glazed over. So if you're just a casual user, it's not the easiest, it's not you know, absolutely intuitive, but with a little work, you can get this thing really working to how you want it. So go out there, go get yourself an iTouch fourth generation 32 gigabyte, and I promise you won't regret it.